This style is a super curly, super cute style. It's very interesting actually, I will say. I don't know that I was a fan of it right out of the box because it's very straight. And I know a lot of people when they're looking for curly pieces want that straight look and then falling into those curls. Personally, I may have liked it, you know, just a little higher on the curl pattern, but I'm not upset with it because I played around with it a little bit and then I made it my own. I realized also that it does have this bang where I can kind of even bring it like a fringe all the way across. And if I want, I can cut and trim that to, of course, sit above my eye, my eyes so it's not going in. But once I figured that out, I think I liked this style a lot more. So um, yeah, let me show you the back of this style. You can see how much curl there is. And that's with me just doing that. So if you notice, the more I run my fingers, and all I'm doing is just touching the curls just ever so slightly and giving it that volume right there. And then I kind of flattened out the top a little bit. I did also clip in this top with a bobby pin. And it's very tiny, but I'm going to show you. I just kind of clipped it back, made it my own, and then I just slightly and gently put that bobby pin in. So I'm not going through the cap or anything like that, but I feel like that makes it a lot better. And I brought another bobby pin just to play around with. So let's see here. So I can do that. And if you notice, I'm not going to go through the cap. So see, wow. Do you guys like it as is out of the box? Or do you like it pinned back? I think I really like this actually. I think this style works on me really well now, <laughs> but I just had to make it my own. And not every style is gonna work on you. And that's something you just have to know. So this color that I have on, this is the light Bernstein Rooted. You can see there. And it's a light auburn, a light honey blonde. And then it has um, some reddish brown in it with the dark roots. And it's all very blended, so you're getting a lot of those honey tones in there. As you can see right here, I think it looks absolutely fabulous. I'm not mad at this style anymore. But let me show you the inside of this cap. It's, it doesn't have a lot of bells or whistles to it, but this is what it looks like. It does have that lace front, and that's a temple to temple lace front. It does not have that mono top. So no mono top, but it does have a mono crown. That mono crown right here, if anyone is standing above you, it'll look like that little part right there is growing right out of your head. That's what that mono part, uh, mono crown does. And if you had the full, um, all right here with the same material, that's considered the mono top, and that would give you parting versatility. But because you don't have that, you cannot part this in any way. So how it comes is how it'll stay. You just kind of have to play around with it um, within that parameter that you're given. Now, it also has those wefts at the back and those adjustable straps. They're Velcro adjustable straps. If I can get it off, you can see. So you can see that Velcro adjustable strap. And you just tighten it if you want to or not. And then this color, let me go ahead and show you this color. This is the Espresso Mix. It's a dark brown base blended with dark brown, warm, medium brown throughout. So just check that out. That's actually a really, really pretty color. I liked this on. I did try this one originally, but unfortunately this fell a little flat on me. But I do generally like this color. Um, it was just a little too dark, even though I am a brunette. Sometimes brunettes don't always work on me. So you just have to find what color works on you. So I went with the light burn scene, it brightened me up a little more, but I still kept that um, dark root to stay true to what my natural hair color is. And that's the beauty of wigs, you can do that. Um, even if, so if you're wanting to try a new color and you're not sure, just get a wig, it'll, it'll be just fine. So let me show you the last and final color in this style. And there's plenty more colors in this style, it's just that these are kind of the top three colors. Now this color right here, this is the Sand Mix. It's a light brown, a medium honey blonde, 
and a golden blonde blend. And you can see how beautiful that color is. Now I'm gonna put this side by side to what I have on. They're actually a little similar, but the one I have on has more um, red, like brownish tones to it. And it's also, you kind of see that warmth because it also has that, it's like reddish brown. You can see that warmth, that more golden and the roots where this, it's still very golden. However, it still has more of those lighter blondes going through that kind of give it that dimension. So this is that sand mix color. It's a very, very beautiful color, actually. I'm in love with this color. Um, and that's the espresso mix. And then I have the light Bernstein rooted. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to call us, um, book a virtual consultation, or message us or chat us um, in one of our social medias. And guys, if you like this style, remember to thumbs up, send hearts, add it to the cart, and I'll see